Oh my goodness gracious, it's been a long while, but we're getting back into the Mass Effect 2 Insanity run. It's been a hell of a long time. Uh, here we go. Anomaly detected. Prisoners didn't know what hit him. Coming around for a second. Probe launched. Something on our side. Side cover, which means a battle. Now, it's been a long while, we've got three hostiles inbound. Long while means I need to remember how to play. Change weapon! That's nice, at least. Eris. Has the Scott Christian shot and the uh, thingy. There we go. Oh yeah, I think I had a strat, didn't I? Have some weapons that take down shields, and then some weapons that finish off with incendiary uh, rounds. With this being insanity, I'm just keeping to this. I'll say that, that guy's running off. Ah, damn it. Like, it's like a rubber band floaty. I thought you used the pistol. Weapon. Yeah, so there's like an auto aim that it will like move between targets. The assisted aim, I suppose you call it. Didn't get that guy, come on. Burn that guy. Go down, drop! Yes, nice one, boys. They are my team. I remember that much. Until I get other squad members. And... This is a side mish, so I have things to collect, like... Just a tiny bit of element zero. Great. Now, uh... Yeah. Let me just check my... Journal is... Okay, some kind of dig. Squad, can I assign? I can. I'm gonna assign Overlord to Garrus. And. Alright, oh, yeah. Like, you can uh, reassign. Hmm. I don't know if you can reassign your squad member's powers. But you can reassign mine. I know that much. There's a perk at the ship that allows it. I'm going for disrupt ammo. Uh, what am I? Level 18 soldier. Right, so it's only to level. 30 in this game. Again, I am playing on Insanity, so... From my first time playing it on Insanity, I think there's one bit that, uh... There's a collector ship uh, that you go on to. <gasps> Spoilers. That is... Alright, so this is Flame... 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 I'm pretty sure my setup is uh, hand cannon and pistol, a destructor, and then finish them off with shotgun or assault rifle. That's just a flame round. Swap between these two, you hold X to swap between weapons. Oh, yes, the little loading screens. Here we go. Kill them. <clears throat> and yes, I have the. I've maxed out my adrenaline perk for the slowdown. Yeah, 
it's massively like there's a big rubber band thing going on between like all those targets over there. Health conservation as well. Modern. Swap out for yeah, SMG. That was kind of a pathetic shot. Yes, get that guy. Oh, ho, ho. I think he's dead. Aha. Oh, they'll burn. Burn. This should slow him down. There we go. Right next to an explosive, don't worry. Really want to be next to an explosive. No shield. Oh. This is bad. This is real bad. Pop out, you. Ooh. I did not like that situation right now. Alright, so the Inferno Realms should stagger them a little bit. There we go. Alright, so teammates come towards me, that means the coast is clear. For now. And again, um, it's not for the faint of heart, insanity. Can be a bit dicey at times. Yeah, I don't care. Care about ammo. Personal locker, which means credits. Credits are good, I need to buy my upgrades and stuff like that make me more resilient and do more damage. Important for RPGs, you know? The ability to damage the enemy. <laughs> it's pretty much up there. That was that terminal. But what's behind the door? Command over the Garrus, are you down? Garrus got downed. Come on. Into the guy. 
<laughs> shooting you point blank range. Garrus, uh, I don't really want to use any of my. Now the the first aid is it first aid? Where is it? Yeah, the unity. I guess it is a first aid. Um, maybe it's upgraded to that. It heals you a bit and gives you um, uh, revives your squad mates. So it's useful, but if I don't need to use it. I don't need to use it. I'm going in. Because I can just shoot that guy like that. Yeah, I got rid of your cover. What are you gonna do about that? <laughs> Disintegration. On this way. Oh, there's nothing. It's just like the under, underneath. It's just another way around, isn't it? Need to check those corners. Search for. Yes, there is something down here. What's this? Oh, I don't think I've ever noticed this. Is this another way into the? Uh... No, it's literally the way I came from. <laughs> I was like, is this a new way to get into this place? It's like, nope, nope, it isn't. It's just. You can go on the ground floor, or you can run up here. Don't know why I got so confused by that. I actually thought I discovered something that I hadn't before in this game series, even though I've played this game series to death. Recapture the derelict ship, huh? Ship. Ship. Can't even speak today. into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with them. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Morden would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Anomaly detected. Pandemic shielding failure detected. Catastrophic solar radiation. Probe away. Something on our sen- That's about the magnetic shield. It's possibly the worst side mission in the entire series, I'd say, this. It's like, literally just hit these buttons. You did it, and it's like, no one else could have done this? No one? That was that uh, little salvage. Yeah. Hey, at least you gave me that. So that's something I have to bypass the station. Okay. So difficult.
Use the control bypass switch and all that lot. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, generator, how about we use the coolant first? Activate the coolant. To activate the generator. Seems pretty straightforward, even though I messed that one up. I knew I, I went too far ahead of myself. I think that's it, that's it done. Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Turian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Turians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous. We can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Somewhat resembles an insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. Yeah. Well, we're doing this mission now. Affirmative. Uh, this is going to be the toughest bit, I reckon. There's a Praetorian that I find pretty hard. 
signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard, if they're still alive. They ain't. Same containers as on Horizon, only empty. Horrible. Trapped in these pods, completely at the mercy of the collectors. Does this smell of trap to anyone? Horrible. Despicable. Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? Test subjects from control group. Discarded after experiment was over. There are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. This was wrong. Inhumane. Even if collectors needed to kill for experiments, could have ended lives painlessly. You're probably right. Doesn't feel much better, though. They're gonna pay. Yes, that could be useful. That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. We're running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure. The Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I have already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Hmm, yes, yeah, important choice time. Uh, yeah, so, um... I'm on Insanity, so that means the Tally recruitment mission, I get the Geth uh, Blaster, which is pretty good machine gun. Shotguns, it's one shot this, it's very useful, um, maybe not so much on Insanity, you have to get up close, and getting up close on Insanity is pretty much a death sentence, usually. So I'm going to go for this sniper rifle. Go. It's a big beefy sniper rifle. <laughs> that should do all it will come in handy. It definitely will. Oh look at that, you can change weapons. It's hinting at fight. Look on the ceiling. More of those strange gods. Hundreds at least. Wonder how many are full. Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. We need to get off this ship. What are we still doing here? It's freaky. Look at it. Very much, it is very much insectoid. We can use this. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM pro 
profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Back to the input. But I already know. This is unbelievable. So many pods. Could depopulate all Terminus systems. Still wouldn't fill them. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. Yeah, target is targeting Earth. It's not too good. There, on the platform. Looks like some kind of control panel. Backup collector seems odd. Alive or dead. Suggest caution. Yeah. Alright. Let's spring the trap. Needy, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Ah, uh, that can't be good. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. I just realized that the collectors don't have uh, shields. Then you better get it done fast, Needy. Okay. Heads up! We have barriers, but we don't have shields. It's that guy over there. Anyone, please? The force <laughs> yeah, insanity, huh? That's the way it goes. Oh, it's been a long time. I've forgotten how challenging it can be. Again, this is the easy bit. I think it's like the Praetorian. Uh, like, you, you fight the Praetorian only twice. Alright. Okay. Systems. So then you'd better get it done fast, Dee Dee. Look out. We Look out. We're gonna go for the troops. Forget about the big tank. Headed for combat. Oh. <laughs> Barriers, man. Assuming direct control. Wait, sounds cool. Got you. Come on, Eve. Down. 
shit. I do want to save this for the other guy, so... By other guy, I mean... I literally mean the second Praetorian. It's a shame that you only fight him twice, but they are tough. I've noticed them go flying like that. Shit. They come again. Yep. They have beam weapons as well. And that guy's assuming control. Assuming control. Right, pop out. Alright, Garrus. We're in a bit of a pinch here. Ah, oh, you made me miss my shot. This is tough. I'm having a harder time with this than I had with the uh, uh, first Praetorian. button is used for climbing over cover, getting into cover and moving about, snapping in and out of cover so it's just, oh this is glorious. I wasn't expecting this fight, I, f I actually forgot that like you fall into this battle just by playing the game. I'm gonna then you better get see it how fast. it is Look up. from here. Oh, that's one shot you know. Recharge, recharge, recharge. Come on. Enemies all, Enemies all around us. Shoot right through him. Oh. Going through 
fighters before they can turn. Right, I think this is more wise strategy. Just the thing to help. Get us out of here. I am oh, shit. Fighting She's fighting collectors as well as us. That's a lot of them. You have a beam rifle, so do I. Do something. Not difficult, but I will. Right in between the eyes. Get that collector before he turns. There we go. It's more like it. I have to reload! <laughs> okay, well it's alright. There's no guys here, is there? Done for. How about Shepard? You must manually re establish my link to the command console. Any ammo drops? Probably not. That was tough. Got a heavy weapon though. I do need for the next fight. Right, we're re establishing. I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. Behavior within norms for Cerberus. Not unexpected. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Right, now we move. Now it's the Praetorian. Around the corner. You know what? We're on your right. I'm saving the big ammo for later. I 
have nothing to do with barriers. Tell me apart, you will. I have to get better position here. I've got no shields. I've got no shields. He hasn't either. This is exciting. Burning collapses to crisps. Oh, I think I'm not mistaken. That's the arena. <laughs> this is not going to be good, guys. Uh, can I even save? I can save. This is not going to be good. This isn't the arena. I was mistaken. Alright. Get him. Blast him back from you down. Shoot that bubble, you can't. It's going straight at me. Far back, I'm hanging. Heavy weapon. Hard shot. Oh. They destroy your shields, don't they? Ooh. Alright, Gary, 
guess let's get him. That guy. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm running out of ammo. And I missed that shot. Point blank. I missed that shot. Wow, wow, wow. I shouldn't be missing shots on, on Insanity, because that's bad. Good thing you're going with kind of like a uh, loop. And my guys are on cover, which means we're all good. It's tough. I'll give it that much. Everything else here. It's power cells, which we need. <laughs> I've been actively not getting the power cells. Just to save it for 400. I think you can have 660 uh, ammo for the collector beam rifle, which is very good. Very good indeed. And there's only one way to go, and that's downwards. Luckily, there's no time limit. Because if there was, oh Nelly, I'd be uh, screwed. There's a time limit. Anyway, it's a boss fight. Opening a door on the far side of the room. I can see that. I can see this. Beautiful. 
right, guys. We need to get out of here. Seeing that Praetorian burn thing of beauty. Edie, we've got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Rerouting commands to firewall 7164. Alright. Come on. Salvage technology. This is valuable. This looks like a. Yep. Sue this. Son of a bitch. Oh, he's even zooming in. It does hurt me. It hurts me quite a bit. Sites will tear you apart, buddy. Your form is fragile. It's gonna hit me. Firing eye impact shot. This hurts you. This hurts you. That actually does hurt me. <laughs> Impressive shot. Look out! It's more. One down. Oh, that was some nice uh, teamwork. Be on the sliver of health. Oh. Right between the eyes. Been a good fight. Commander, I hate to rush you, but those weapons are about to come online. Might want to double time it, you know, so we can leave before they blow the Normandy in half. Yeah. Forgot about these guys. God, come on boys, we need to deal with these. Now, we are in 
entirety, so... They are dangerous. Do not be fooled. We're leaving. <laughs> right now, double time. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. 
They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector data banks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays on the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. <laughs> well, that was a eventful return to the Mass Effect 2 Insanity Run, part of the uh, Insanity Run trilogy, I suppose. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll be continuing on next time. Until then. Bye.